when I first came to New Orleans, I was like, wow, a lot of people have bikes out here. But now that I've lived in New Orleans, I'm like, wow, a lot of people have DUIs out here. <laughs> they don't care about the environment, they legally cannot drive. <laughs> Speaking of driving, my girlfriend said the only way she would ever give me roadhead ever again is if I drove next time. <laughs> Sounds a lot less exciting than the first time we tried, but <laughs> no risk, no reward is what I'm saying. You guys still with me? Jorge, I want to thank you for inviting your entire family out. That was very sweet of you. That's a third Mexican joke, you're welcome. Uh, ladies, can we talk for a moment? Sure. Just us. Yeah. Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys. Ladies. Yeah. Why do you do this in bed? Why are you like, deeper, deeper, it's a dick. Not the Star Wars franchise, you know what I mean? It's not like, deeper, deeper. It's like, it's a good thing you asked. I had all this leftover dick. Just go stale after a while, if I'm being honest. There's a tattoo halfway down my penis that says, to be continued. Most women don't even notice. Did you want this leftover dick? Okay. <laughs> it's rude, ladies. It's rude. I would never have sex with a girl and be like, shallower, shallower. I want to hit a wall. Does it ever end? How many kids did you have? I would not do that. <laughs> Jorge, I want to make sure I do not get the $3 that are in that bucket. That's all yours, buddy. <laughs> But for tax purposes, he only got one dollar. <laughs> okay. I would never say shallow or sh Hi, Kevin. Hi. I thought that was you before. Have you seen Kyle? You guys? Same, same height? Yeah, awesome. There you go. Anyone else want to interrupt my show? Are you in here? All right. Nice to see all of you guys. Also, speaking of sex talk, I was having sex with my lady. My lady, in case you guys are still confused, I get it. I'm having sex with my lady, and she whispers to me, first of all, why are you whispering? Are we on camera? What's going on here? This is a, this is a bedroom, not a library. Speak up, is what I'm saying. She whispers, she says, I want you to make me feel violated. All right. Uh, I did what I thought any man would do in that situation, okay? I tie her hands to the headboard. I tie her feet to the footboard. I put a gag in her mouth, and then... I looked through her cell phone. You know what I mean? She was all like... I, I, I felt very successful. <laughs> And uh, maybe too much of horn, but uh, she felt very violated. <laughs> and I felt very vindicated because we broke up after that. Who the fuck is Josh? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I do have a headboard and a footboard. I'm making money like that, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Bed frame and all that shit. All right, thank you. Um, speaking of sex, I heard this statistic that 38% of men struggle with stamina in the bedroom. 38% of men, that's what they say. First of all, who the fuck are they? My hairdresser identifies as they, was it them? Anyway. <laughs> Second of all, where the fuck are they getting these statistics from? Can you imagine you're just like plowing through, doing your best, like, oh, and then someone kicks in your fucking bedroom door and like, 
Does it usually take about that long? I had seven and a half. Steve, what did you have? You had seven, about, we'll say eight minutes. Uh, eight minutes. Uh, also, while we're here, uh, how happy are you with your car insurance? <laughs> and your current dentist? If you answer both questions, maybe we write ten minutes on this clipboard. What do you think? I, I don't get it. Also, ladies, understand something about men, okay? When we were first introduced to our little friend, we didn't have a lot of time to get acquainted. <laughs> so 38% of men might struggle with stamina, but maybe 62% of men didn't have siblings to share a bedroom with. Maybe 62% of men were allowed to stay in the bathroom for as long as they fucking wanted without their mom banging on the door. Maybe 62% that their fucking underwear were like concrete and understood they needed more time. <laughs> Maybe 62% of men were given a chance. <laughs> beautiful woman and get them to have sex with them. That's not what we're interested in. You know why guys find porn so hot? Because a guy can have sex with a beautiful woman he hardly knows and not have to remember her fucking food allergies or which one of her co-workers she's not getting along with that week or whether or not her aunt is still a cunt or her best fucking friend. Men can have sex like that. This is a public service announcement from all porn watchers. Thank you. That <laughs> shit got too real. I feel it. I feel it. Um, I just want to also, as a guy who's 5'7", uh, I'm not going to lie and say it's for my short friend. We all see me. Anyway, women, what's this whole thing with liking tall dudes? Every fucking profile. Don't message me back if you're not six foot or more. Um, that's weird. Like... Is it just like I got acquainted to a certain lifestyle when I was seven years old walking with my father and since I don't have him in my life, I just want to do this until my shoulder hurts. Logistically and sexually, that doesn't work out well because when you're having sex, he's like a foot and a half away. You're just like dodging chest hair and armpit the whole fucking time. Like, is this good for you? Could you just call or text me and let me know? If you're He's like composing an email, betting on fantasy fucking football. He's doing something else entirely. And you're like, is this good for you? I live in New Orleans. It's a haunted. These are too real. I get it. Thank you. I live in New Orleans, the haunted city. But this whole ghosting thing has gotten so bad that when people ask me, do you believe in ghosts? My response is, no, I'm sure she's just busy with work. Uh, she has an emotionally needy dog. I'm sure she'll get back to me. But I do want to come up with a show called Ghost Hunters. We don't look for supernatural beings. We just go to local bars trying to figure out why Stacy hasn't called John back in four, four fucking days. The last thing I want to tell you guys is um, I think my grandma watches me masturbate. <laughs> Which I realize is a very weird way of saying, I believe in ghosts. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you so much. Give it up, everybody. Christopher Anthony. Yeah.